the history of Igbaras in the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. Fellow Igbarasnan, it is our prime duty and obligation to know our roots, our past, The history of Igbaras in the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. Fellow Igbarasnan, it is our prime duty and obligation to know our roots, our past, the people, its culture and beliefs. It is only after then when we can walk our head up and be proud to be an Igbarasnan. Our beloved town Igbaras is famous as the home of beautiful waterfalls and sweetest mangoes in the province. We have three waterfalls in the locality, namely Tarugan Falls, situated at Barangay Tigbanaba, Nadsadhan Falls, a tourist spot in the region, and Tigmaapok Falls, located at Barangay Pasi. Our municipal seal embodies the prominent Mount Napulak, a town surrounded with beautiful God-created nature. Returning back to the pages of history, Igbaras during the pre-Spanish century. The Negritos first settled in Panay. Tigbanabas was the Negritos tribe name. This group of people settled in Igbaras particularly in a barangay named after them, Tigbanaba, the oldest noted and recorded by Augustinian missionaries. This tribe was lured by the majestic Tarugan Falls, and they settled at the foot of Mount Napulak. The Beliefs and Practices Life in the early Igbarasnon settlements were full of lihi. These beliefs transcended from generation to generation and still subsist today. Some of them are the Aswang, the Kapri and Mantio, Kama Kama or Dwarf, Taihe or Half Man Half Horse, the Murukpuk, the Bawa, the Tamahu, among others. The Babaylans are one of the most powerful persons in the early settlements. They were also called as witch doctors. In this century, artifacts from Igbaras were from accidental grave digging. These artifacts, as shown in the pictures, confirmed that Igbaras non engaged in barter trade with the Arab and Chinese traders in the shorelines of Irong Irong during the 15th century. Moving on to the Spanish era. In 1752, Father Juan Aguado, an Augustinian missionary, founded Igbaras. Don Diego Tomook was appointed as the first Capitan del Pueblo or town head. Before its foundation, Igbaras was a visita of Gimbal, and the inhabitants were known as Tingues de Gimbal or Arabal Kangimbal. This is how Plaza de Igbaras, as shown in the map, looks like. Religious as we were, brought by the influence of the Spaniards, the old church was constructed out of the tabria or yellow brick stone cut from the hills. Barrios were founded during the Spanish period. Tigbanaba, Binanwaan, Pinaupawan, and Ikabugao were considered the oldest barrios and the others are as follows Kateringan, Igdalungon, Bugnay, Labon, 
Kurukwan, Bagay, Bagakay, Amurugtong, Indaluyon, Kali, Anilawan, Reruan, Signi, Barasan, Buga, Santa Barbara, Pasong, Lumangan, Talayatay, Kalampitaw, Lutungan, Mulangan, Kinagdan, and Hovilyar. The Igbaras religious calendar during the Spanish period. Pagkatawo. Quaresma or Lent season. Yukbo. Angel Angel. Vergen Dolorosa. The Santo Intiero. The patron saint of Igbaras, Santa Rita de Casia. The universal patron saint of the Roman Catholic, San Juan de Bautista. Igbaras on the 18th century. Some of the events recorded during this period are the following. In 1801, there was a crop failure in Igbaras and famine happened. Early rains came and farmers were not able to plant corn for food consumption. Root crops were also a failure. In 1826, a big flood happened in Igbaras that inundated almost half of the town. According to Tai Jose Almido, Tanyan River traversed from Kayap to Ilawod, inundating a portion of Evidente Street, destroyed half of San Pedro Street, inundated almost all of the old cemetery and half of Fortuna Street. In 1833, there was another crop failure in Igbaras, and there was famine. In 1855, a strong earthquake happened. The Casa Real was destroyed. The belfry of the old church was also destroyed. In 1880, many Igbarasnon died of hunger because of famine lingered from 1881. And lastly, Igbaras during the revolution or the 19th century. Igbarasnons were imposed upon to have new cedula or residence certificates in 1883 and in 1881 were apprehended if payments were not made. In 1900, Igbaras was burned by the Americans and it was reduced to ashes. The barrios formally founded during the American regime or Ira Tanoong, later changed to San Ambrosio, Buena Vista, Buklod, Pasi, Alameda, Balibagan, Mantangan, Lakay Doldol, Tabiak, Igpigas, and Taytay. This was the period when the new road from Igbaras to Gimbal was constructed. Finally, on December 23, 1918, Acting Curl Governor General Charles E. Yeter issued Executive Order No. 64, declaring, among others, the separation of Igbaras from the mother town Gimbal as an independent and autonomous municipality. Wow! Congratulations to our town Igbaras. We are independent. We are autonomous. We still stand in our feet. We are proud of our temperaments and resilience in facing the challenges of modernity. Proud to be an Igbaras nun, now and forever shall be. Mabuhay kita nga Igbaras nun.